In this video, I'll demonstrate the explode feature. I have this model with some double cutting doors and windows. Once the model is final, meaning that windows and doors are in the correct spots, there are a few reasons that they may need to be exploded. One reason has to do with the walls that are cut. From the back of the components, I can select the window or door itself, but when I select the wall hole, its edges are red. This is because the cutting faces are locked, they're linked to the parent cutting component and can't be edited as is. This means, for example, that I can't paint the inside faces of the cut. In the case of the door, there is a cut face at the bottom, which is part of the loop of cutting faces, and this face can't be erased while cutting faces are locked. The second reason has to do with section cuts. If I place a section plane at the top of the room, the cut has a solid fill above where the windows are, but the solid fill disappears when the cuts are reached. To solve both problems, I'll click the Explode icon. I have the familiar option to explode pre-selected components, those in context, or all in model. Now I can access inside faces to paint, I can remove the face below the door, and section cuts retain solid fill along the height of the walls. If I move this window after exploding, it still cuts, but the previous hole is still there. This is an easy hole to remove. But if I move this window, and it overlaps with its previous hole, I'll get an error that there is no longer a solid back face. To fix this, I can erase the previous hole, then select the moved window and refresh it. 